and it's like I always feel like he's on a very similar wavelength to me and I know that sounds insane but yeah like I've only read the first chapter of this book and he's talking about how he always stood up for himself as a kid and I'll read you a little line from this book and it'll help you understand Miss Rude said, Gregory, do you have something to say to us all? I replied, don't call me Gregory, Wonder." And he just stood up for himself there and then, because that was his pet peeve. That was his pet peeve and he just stood up to the teachers and he was like, yo, you ain't gonna mess with me, I'm gonna stand up for what I believe in. And that's exactly what I'm like, because my mouth can get me into trouble and that's exactly what his mum was trying to point out as well in that first page. My friend Dave, he didn't just think, oh, that's a nice book. He, he knows exactly why I admire Greg Graffin, and yeah. And plus, after I've read the book, he can read it afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, these are thoughtful gifts. Also, my friend Tasha and Sam got me this. Typically hilarious. <laughs> Grow your own gay best friend. He'll give you an honest opinion on your hair and style. He loves to shop. He has great relationship advice. He always listens to you. He loves to dance at clubs. He'll tell you when your butt looks big. <laughs> this is amazing. This is funny as well because it's an in-joke because they both think I'm a lesbian and they're determined to prove that I'm a lesbian. Well, I know Tasha is. I don't know about Sam. <laughs> but they're like, I'm a lesbian. I'm, like, I'm not a lesbian. I think it's because I'm really comfortable and I always touch my breasts all the time and I've kissed my fair share of girls. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad, if you're watching this. Plus, I have, this fr I have my friend Dave who practically is my gay best friend. Which is funny, really, because he's not gay. As you saw in the other video, when I wrote my gay friend Dave in the text box, he commented and he was like, I'm not gay! Ha! Cece's thought went behind that as well. And it's like, they're my favourite gifts that I've received. Like, I don't think I'm receiving any more gifts now, really. Other than that, I got some cheese. Like, literally some cheese, some chocolate, and just... Like, the bad thing about it is I was opening gifts and I had cheese wrapped up for me and some chocolates and there was no thought that had gone into it at all and my mum had left the price tags on and it was like... Uh, it's like, I felt like I was being punished. I felt like I was receiving coal. Long story short, I've had a really, really crap Christmas so far and it's like I've been focusing on those gifts, those meaningful gifts because like I only just received one of those two, the one from Hanker, so that made my day instantly and these meaningful gifts like are what Christmas is about if you're gonna give a gift and it's and it's like I went to give my mum a gift or a painting that I had painted for her and on the little painting, my mum's a herbal practitioner and she's into her aromatherapy and stuff and on this little painting it said cultivate poverty like a garden herb like sage and what that basically means is learn to cultivate your mind and action our mind consists of plants weeds and herbs brackets evil or kind nurture the herbs and pull out the weeds and i really really liked that and i thought it was a really good like life lesson too and I wrote that on the painting and then it had like a picture of a forest and it had like the aura boralysis running through the sky and I thought she'd absolutely love it and I was so excited to give it her and I went to give it her today and she just blew me off I don't even know if she's looked at it yet I just left the house hence why I'm sitting in my house on my own now but it's little things like that that have upset me today because I've seen how ungrateful people can actually be when it comes to Christmas and it's a shame because it's so commercial these days that people it's like there's nothing wrong with being excited to open your presents but you should admire everything you get every single gift you get and it's like I've been brought up to admire every little single thing I receive and I'll be sitting there and I'll be opening a gift and I'll start looking at the wrapping paper that it's in and I'll admire every little thing in it I'll admire it all there's five gifts in a little cute little bag or something then I'll admire the bag then I'll admire one gift for about 15 minutes then the next for 15 minutes you don't have to do it like me and like admire everything way too much but I do really like to take my time and actually appreciate what I've got it's like I've not exactly like led a spoiled life so everything I've received I admire it's always about admiring the world around you and admiring the people in it and admiring the gifts you actually get you should be thankful for everything and it's like, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving here in England, 
but I absolutely love the meaning and it's like it's tradition apparently in America to go around the table and say what you're thankful for which is really really good and I think it's a good thing to do and I think it shouldn't stop there every single day you should be th thankful for the people that you have in your life and the stuff that you've actually got and with these meaningful gifts you can see the pure effort that's gone behind it and that it, my set that for me makes my Christmas and also I've had a really crap kind of Christmas so far and my friend Dave he's just had his tea and he's gonna come here straight away and keep me company and cheer me up on Christmas and it's gonna be like and that's this Christmas and he's coming to cheer me up on Christmas now that itself is a great Christmas present really isn't it <laughs> so I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas the best for 2011 I almost said 2012 then I'm either living a year ahead or seven years behind. I find that often when I'm writing the date on a piece of paper, I put 1996 or 1997. Come on, I was like five years old, six years old. <laughs> Some strange reason I'm living in the past and I don't know why. I just want to say, Merry Christmas everybody. I'm th so thankful that you actually subscribed to my channel. Blah, 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 blah. Take care. If you're going to play with fireworks, don't do what my mate did. Oh, let's play with fireworks on Christmas. Drunk. Boop. Okay, needless to say, be safe. Take care. Bye.